The theater experience is a, a unique one for both audiences and actors because it is a, a, a live occurrence, because it is happening in real time in front of everyone. Um, when it is in-person theater, I think there's an extra layer of the sort of sharing of energy that both the actors and the audiences have as an exchange, as a conversation between each other. And so each performance is, is different every time you do it. Um, and that's and that's very exciting because in, in a way there's nothing is set. And so you rehearse and you rehearse and you rehearse and you and you agree upon how this story is going to be told in in the container it's being told. But then once you actually do it, there are so many surprises along the way and it shifts and it grows and it evolves um, over the course of a run and over the course of a performance each night. And so I think that's what makes theater really singular and really special as a performing um uh a performing art um and specifically a performing art of telling spoken stories my name is andy knight i'm the director of the lab at scr at south coast repertory listen to this video to learn more about our lab at scr i first heard about south coast repertory when i was in college um when I was just getting a sense of what the regional theater landscape was. And so I knew that it was a theater located in Southern California in sort of the uh, extended Los Angeles area. Um, but I would say that I really first got to know the kind of work that South Coast Repertory was doing when I was uh, working at the Goodman Theater in Chicago, um, another theater that does do a lot of new work. And when I was looking at scripts, reading scripts, looking at scripts that the Goodman was developing or ultimately putting into production, I did notice that a lot of these plays were originally commissioned by South Coast Repertory or had development at South Coast Repertory. And so then upon further research about what South Coast Repertory was, I came to really truly understand the extent of um, how much new work is fostered, developed, and then ultimately produced uh, in Costa Mesa, California. The Lab at SCR is the name of um, all of our new play development programs here at South Coast Repertory. Um, it involves all of the development opportunities that we offer playwrights up through production here, and then also our um, our robust commissioning program that we have. Um, and so I'll speak about both of those in sort of uh, two, two separate columns, even though they certainly um, inter intersect quite a bit. Um, so speaking of um, commissioning, um, South Coast Repertory has a very active commissioning program. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, commissions are uh, essentially when we when we hire a playwright to write a play for South Coast Repertory. Um, and that is um, done at all stages of careers. So from emerging playwrights, playwrights who might just be at the very outset of their careers to mid-career playwrights, playwrights that are, are very established and who have a, a long track, track record of theatrical productions. Um, and so South Coast Repertory has about I would say around 50 active commissions um, right now. And those um, are are really a partnership between the theater and the writer uh, to, to write a new play with South Coast Repertory in mind. Um, what what when that intersects with our development programs is when a when a play is written when it is a first draft or a second draft or still early in its form very often these plays will will go into development is is what we say where um we get actors a playwright the playwright and a director uh, and a dramaturg into a space to hear the play, to investigate the text, to be there for the playwright, to help them um, continue to work on their piece as they as they get closer to realizing what this is going to look like in three dimensions on a stage. Um, so those development processes um, are multifaceted. Many start with what we would call a one day reading, which is essentially where playwright director, some actors just gather in a room and have an informal, what we would call cold reading, reading without any rehearsal. Um, and that just is uh, over the course of a few hours in a day. And that's just a chance for the playwright to hear their play out loud for the very first time. Um, theater is um, a written form when a, when a playwright's writing, but it is a, it is a, it is a, a performance art really at its heart. And so you can't, it's hard to get a sense 
of how this play really functions until you hear it in the air. So it can be a very important first step with a one day reading that can grow into a multi day uh, in house process. So a multi day in house process would be anything from two days to four days to even in in certain cases, a couple of weeks where the team is gathering and working on the play, discussing the play, the play is re, the playwright is rewriting the play across these two weeks um, as they continue to investigate what this text uh, is and how it functions. Um, we call those in-house processes because they don't have an audience. Um, the audience is really just the team in the room. And maybe if they do something, if they read it all the way through at the, at the end of the workshop, a, a couple people from our artistic staff will come, but it's really not about the performance at that point. It's really about vigorous discussion and vigorous investigation. Um, very often we will then at that point introduce an audience. Um, and so these would be our public development programs within the lab at SCR. That would be our new scripts reading program. And then also our Pacific Playwrights Festival. Um, the new scripts program is our oldest new play development program. It was started in the mid 1980s. Um, and what that is, is it's a, it's a about two and a half, three day rehearsal process that culminates in a public reading for an audience here at South Coast Repertory on a Monday night. Um, so what you're adding in there is certainly all the same investigation and the same and the same um, rigor and sort of determination to figure out what this text is. And then you're adding in um, some new collaborators into the space really on the final day with that public reading where you invite folks to come and to watch the play, to watch actors stand at music stands with, with their scripts on the music stands and essentially read that play to share um, this, this development process with an audience. And through that, you gain feedback in real time with laughs and when audiences are leaning in when they're leaning back when they're not when they're not engaged um and then so that's sort of the immediate feedback that you get in the moment and then also very often um these readings are followed by talkbacks and other ways that audience members can provide feedback where we ask um very specific questions um from them in regards to you know what are what was most engaging for you what would you say this play is about where were you leaning in when were you leaning back you know who what characters were you drawn to and why you know these sort of open ended questions for them to share with the writer that then the writer can take away as they continue to work on the play and say okay when an audience heard this when someone with no relationship to this play heard it for the very first time they took this away and that's so great for me to know because that is exactly what I wanted, or that's not what I wanted. Hear the story that I want to tell. So that's our new scripts reading program. Our Pacific Playwrights Festival um, is somewhat similar to new scripts in the process itself. It's f about four days of rehearsal that then culminates in a public reading. Um, but the additional component of PPF is that it is a festival. So it is a it is a gathering of new work and sharing new work with audiences. So across three days, audiences can see two world premiere productions, so two fully staged plays um, on our Segerstrom stage and on our Argero stage, the two spaces that we produce consistently in here at South Coast Repertory. And then um, they can also see five staged readings, and that's across uh, three days in April and May. And uh, between that, they can talk about the plays, they can celebrate the plays. Everyone's here um, at South Coast Repertory together. Many of our audiences like to go through the whole weekend and see sort of that, that super condensed um, experience of new work. Um, and so that audience is comprised of our new play lovers that come here to South Coast Repertory from the Orange County area, and then also from uh, industry professionals from around the country who are coming to see some of the most exciting new work. Um, so that that is um, our biggest uh, development program that we have here at South Coast Repertory through the lab at SCR. Um, Harkening back to the very beginning of my answer with commissions, 
um, and development, the way that those things intersect is very often our commissions are going through these development schematics. So a, a commission may come in, we may have a one day reading, and then it may be a new scripts. We may have a four day workshop, and then it goes into PPF. Sometimes uh, we'll get a first draft and it will go straight into PPF, uh, depending on the, the timing and where the play is at. You know, every playwright writes very differently. And part of the important thing with the lab at SCR is that it stay flexible and nimble to try to meet the needs of the writer um, and to to shape the development process to what the play and the playwright needs. Um the lab at SCR, um, when our artistic director, David Ivers, came in, um, we re-examined the lab at SCR. We re-examined our new play processes here at South Coast Repertory to really think about what was working really well and uh, what could grow, what could change, what could evolve to better serve playwrights today and what they need. So part of the, the sort of robustness of the lab came when David um, came to South Coast Repertory in, in 2019. And it was about um, expanding the flexibility that I just spoke to of like, hey, you need you need um, a writing retreat. Maybe you just need to come. You need to get away from your apartment, from whatever else you're doing back home. And you just need four days of quiet here in, in one of our condos at South Coast Repertory. And you need a space at South Coast Repertory to do some writing. You know, let's let's figure out a way to support that when we can. Um, let's figure out a, a, a way to continue having conversations with playwrights before they write a play, um, after they've written that first draft. So the engagement between a playwright and South Coast Repertory um, stays active through every step of the development process. Um, another thing that we, we has really grown at South Coast Repertory over the past couple of years is our commitment to the development of new musicals as well. Um, we certainly had done musicals and new musicals here at South Coast Repertory um, for a long, long time but making sure that we were doing it consistently and um, figuring out a way to include a new musical in each Pacific Playwrights Festival um, became a new component to the lab at SCR um, that we've been following through on and, and which is a, a very sort of exciting um, development within the lab itself. As a part of our commissioning program, um, we do have four different commissions that that are specifically identified for uh, particular artists um, and have a particular um, journey and path. Um, one of them is the Elizabeth George Commission for Emerging Playwrights that is supported by the Elizabeth George Foundation. Um, they, they've very generously been supporting this commission at South Coast Repertory for um, over 20 years now. Um, and so what what that commission is, is it supports two to three emerging uh, playwrights each season. Um, emerging can be somewhat of a, a flexible term in the industry in terms of what emerging is. For, for the purposes of this commission, it is for a playwright who is really truly at the outset of their career, who is who is really new, who has just turned to writing, maybe they're just out of grad school, maybe they didn't attend grad school and have just started uh, writing plays. And so it's very often people who have not had um, very many productions, if any productions at all. Um, and so it's it's really about um, introducing uh, a playwright to the professional world and uh, inviting them into the fold at South Coast Repertory. Um, another commissioning program that we have is our Crossroads Commissioning Program. Um, that is a, a commission that involves a residency for the playwright. And in this case, a residency is it's an exploratory residency. So we bring the playwright out to Orange County for anywhere from five to 10 days, depending on the needs of the playwright and what they're interested in exploring. And we have an open conversation with them of, of what they're interested in. Um, and then we look to see what Orange County has in, in, in that vein. So 
um, some playwrights will come to Orange County and they'll say, I just want to, I don't know anything about Orange County and I just want to see Orange County. Let's go everywhere. Let's talk to everyone. And, um, and we'll see, you know, how, how that inspires me. Um, some playwrights are like, oh, I'm very interested in, um, exploring, say the comic book world, the comic book scene in Orange County, California. Can you tell me, um, uh, uh, about what's there and can we go to some comic book shops can we look for any sort of conventions um and so it can be anything from a topic to a community to uh, the geography of the area and we just bring them out here and we we explore and we meet people and then they go away and write a play and that play doesn't have to have doesn't have to do have anything to do with their residency itself it does not have to be set in orange county it does not have to speak specifically to the exploration that they took because we don't want to limit what the playwright writes and and what ultimately inspires them um but but we do hope that that residency creates a wonderful point of inspiration for them and it also uh deepens the connection between the playwright the community that they're writing for and the theater that they're writing for as well um they get time to meet us and to spend time with us they get time to meet um the local orange county community here and so it's a it's a really sort of um wonderful um crossroads if you will of 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 sort of community exploration and artistic exploration um it's it's yielded some really wonderful plays cambodian rock band by lauren yi uh viet gone by kui guin uh yoga play by dipika guha so we've we've had a a a uh, a lot of success with that program. And it's something that's um, really, really exciting and really important to us. And then one of our newest commissions is our Pinnacle Commission, uh, which is the largest commission that South Coast Repertory gives. It's a partnership commission with another theater to um, award a, uh, uh, a very established playwright uh, a, a very large commission um, to essentially encourage them to keep engaging with the theater. Um, and this year, our, our first Pinnacle Commission went to Brandon Jacobs Jenkins, and we partnered with Playwrights Horizons. We do, we do certainly commission at all levels of careers, once again, from the emerging writer to the writers who are uh, very actively working in theater and have been for many years will take away the experience of what it means to engage with new work um, across the three days and the seven plays. We want to tell uh, disparate stories. We want to tell stories that are, that are, all told in very different ways from very different voices. Um, and we hope that audiences will be swept up by some, that some of them will really cause them to think, um, and that some of them they will find funny and engaging. Um, and by, by providing such a sort of diversity of experience across the three days and the seven plays, we hope that audiences will understand that a new play means many different things. And to, to not assume that a new play is just this or that a new play festival is just this. We hope to provide them with a, a really sort of engaging and different experience at every step in the way, a uh, step of the way. Um, and certainly South Coast Repertory gets something out of um, bringing audiences together for a new play festival as well. And it's a chance for us to engage with audiences. It's a chance for us to uh, be with the playwrights as they experience hearing their plays out loud for maybe the very first or the second time in front of an audience. And so it gives us immediate feedback about um, what's working, what's exciting, what's engaging our audiences. Um, and it provides feedback for the playwrights too of, of, of what is exciting about their plays or where there are questions about their plays. And so it's a real gift for us to also to gather uh, what essentially can be a little bit of a focus focus group um, across across three days with seven plays. What I would say to, to artists and playwrights, actors, et cetera, uh, about why they should get involved with South Coast Repertory is because we are really excited about um, working on new pieces. I think that one of the great things about South Coast Repertory is we're always excited to look at what's next. Um, 
we we certainly want to celebrate our legacy and we want to celebrate what we've done before, but we want to continue to grow and to change and to help champion uh, the way forward in the American theater. And we absolutely can't do that without the artists. They are they are the lifeblood of new work in the American theater. They are the ones who are out there um inventing and creating new things and creating new things from new pl- pieces to new modes of working and so we we certainly encourage um folks who haven't worked with us before to work with us because we want to we want to champion their work and we want to learn from them it's really important for the local community to support theaters like South Coast Repertory because we are truly a regional theater. We are a theater for our community and our neighborhood, and um, we we strive to make great art in Orange County for Orange County audiences. Um, unlike a commercial entity, unlike a, a, a say Broadway production or something, um, our we don't depend on the ticket sales themselves to do the production. Uh, we 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 commit to the production and uh, we have a set run for how long the production will run. Um, and we and we want to share that with audiences. We really want all of our plays, of course, to be a big hit. And we want audiences, many, many audiences to come see all of our productions. But um, that isn't necessarily how we're measuring the success of a production, um, because there are so many factors. There are um, there's certainly the integrity of the piece. There's the way that we are stretching our community by sharing something with them that they might not be used to. And so by introducing to that to them, that is a success in itself. And because um, we're not a commercial entity, you know, um, outside support in any way um, that that patrons and theater lovers can support us is very important. Certainly come, 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 come to the theater, come see a show at South Coast Repertory, come to the Pacific Playwrights Festival, come see our new scripts reading series it's a free reading series on monday nights and just see what we're all about um but yes we also look to donations from individuals from organizations to support the new work here so we continue so we can continue to experiment and to explore and to look to uh new stories that haven't been told before or haven't been told in the way that they've been told before Art certainly helps the local community in, in all ways, certainly economically by your, you know, by folks going out and having a good time and coming to the area and seeing uh, what's around here. Um, the other or- arts organizations that are around here, the restaurants that are around here, the places to go and the things to see. Um, and it, it, it also creates, you know, beyond that, um, Theater, one of the things that's so special about it is it really creates empathy. It is a way in real time to sort of experience life in someone else's shoes. And um, it, it it's 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 such an important thing to engage with, um, no matter how you engage with, if you make art, certainly, but also if you just casually encounter art along the way, it, it, it helps you understand the world around you. And hopefully through the art that we do will help you understand better the community that you live in as well. My name is Andy Knight. I am the director of the lab at SCR at South Coast Repertory. Um, and please come to the Pacific Playwrights Festival here at South Coast Repertory. And so you can learn more information about the Pacific Playwrights Festival uh, at scr.org.